Now the zeros of a function are referring to uh, x-intercepts or replacing the function value, the y-coordinate, with zero and solving the equation. So we're replacing f of x, the value of the function, with zero. And we're going to go ahead and solve this. So at this point we'll go ahead and uh, solve this by factoring. To solve by factoring we would want a zero on one side, which we have here. And seeing that we have four terms, uh, we're going to go ahead and factor by grouping. So we'll go ahead and group these first two terms together. And we'll group these uh, last two terms. Now keeping that minus out in front of the parentheses, I need to be a little bit careful and make sure I don't just uh, stick some parentheses around these terms by factoring out that negative essentially I need to make this a plus 8 in order to keep it equivalent that way you know, if I wanted to kind of work backwards to get rid of the parentheses I'd have to distribute that negative so it would give me minus 4x minus 8 so let's go ahead and see what each of the two sets of parentheses have in common so this first set they have an x squared in common and that would leave us with an x plus 2 when we factor it out and the second set they have a 4 in common that also leaves us with an x plus 2. And so because they both have x plus 2, we can factor that out. And that leaves us with x squared minus 4. Now we can factor x squared minus 4 further. It's a difference of squares, and it factors down to x plus 2 times x minus 2. So to complete our solution here, we need to take each of these factors and set them equal to 0. Now it's going to be a little bit redundant here with that second one since it's the same factor as the first one. So I'm not actually going to see three separate solutions here. I'm basically just going to have two zeros or two solutions to this equation since these first two give me that same solution. So my two solutions are going to be uh, x equals negative 2 and x equals 2.